Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Tech Now. Thanks so much for joining me. I just wanted to do a quick video because with this virus outbreak that's going on right now, there are some scams that have really started to come to the forefront and I wanted to make sure I bring some things to your attention. And so online scammers are really on the offensive right now. They're looking to exploit fears of you know vulnerable internet users that are anxious for additional information about this coronavirus outbreak break in. According to various experts who are actually tracking this digital trend, um, as the virus actually spreads across the world, scammers have devised some methods for trying to defraud people in connection with this COVID-19. And so, you know, what they're doing is, is they're actually doing a few things. One is they're setting up different websites and then they're contacting people by phone and email. And then they're posting just misinformation on various social media platforms. And one thing is what they're trying to do is they're trying to push for them to download certain apps. And so this is really an, a huge app scam and you might have started hearing a little bit about it, but what they're doing is, is they're trying to, you know, say you need to download this app, which is designed to track the spread of COVID-19. And then it inserts malware that will actually compromise the particular user's device and personal information. And there's, there's actually a few apps, but one app which is registered to a person in Morocco, um, and it's actually a pretty clever lure, and it encourages the victim to enable full device control in order to track um, different COVID-19 patients in your specific area. And once the user authorizes the app with those permissions, then they are hit with a ransom message and your phone and, and basically it looks like this it says your phone is encrypted you have 48 hours to pay a hundred dollars or whatever the amount of money is in bitcoin or everything will be erased and so there the threatening message just continues and it says you know what will be deleted your contacts your pictures videos you know, all of your social media accounts will be leaked publicly and your phone memory will be completely erased. So it, it masquerades as a coronavirus tracking app, but in reality, it just locks you out of your phone and then it just demands a ransom to get you back in. So another scam that's going on are the Pfizer scams, and this is where scammers are posing as national and global health authorities, and then they send Pfizer emails designed to trick the various recipients into downloading malware and then providing personal information, whether it's your personal information or your banking information or things like that. And so this scam actually looks very realistic um, compared to some others that's going on right now. Um, so so you've got to be very wary of unsolicited emails, um, especially, you know, from the World Health Organization. There is a scam right now that actually looks just like this, and it's a completely fake, you know, Pfizer email. So legitimate health authorities will not contact you in this manner. So be very wary of any kind of emails that look similar to this. The other thing that's happening right now, our email users are being inundated with just nasty malware through unsolicited emails that include attachments related to this outbreak. And what they're doing is they're targeting people in specific areas where the outbreak is more severe. So if you are in one of those areas, you need to be on extra alert. People are opening up these attachments and they're not realizing that they're actually malicious in nature. And many of these scammers are trying to trick you into divulging personal information which they can either use later down the road or they'll just sell it on the dark web they figure you know if they can get a hold of your password then you might be you just might be using that password for maybe your banking information or something like that so you know cyber security experts advise against forwarding any communications that are suspicious and agree that the best way to avoid falling victim to these scams is to just be aware of the senders avoid clicking on unknown links or opening unknown attachments and just take every email that has anything to do with this 
with a grain of salt and with a healthy dose of skepticism. So another thing is, is if you're promised a vaccine or, you know, or, or some sort of, you know, magic cure or protective pill, it most likely came from one of those cyber criminals, guys. So that is it. I just wanted to bring these few items to your attention. I hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Share this with any family member that you think might want to hear it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe. I'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.